Welcome back to the Lazy A-Hole Ranch. If you're new here, my name is Allie. My partner Mike and I are building an arched cabin out here in Colorado. An arched cabin is a steel house kit and it's a really affordable alternative for someone who is looking to build their own house and save a little bit of money. This house that we're in right here is a stick build. This stick build house is right next door to our house and it is where Mike's mom is going to live. She has been building this house for a couple of years and we are getting close to the finishing touches. It's coming along really great, isn't it? On this channel, we compare the builds a little bit, and give a little bit of an update on each one. Today, they painted. So this is the color, the final color for her house. It's a lovely, warm, buttery beige color and it looks beautiful. The texturing has been done. They are upstairs spraying the doors right now. They did a knockdown texture. So these drywall guys were so fast that we didn't even have time to get the inspection done on the insulation, let alone get over there and film them doing all this. So I apologize, I don't have any footage of them putting it in. But here's some footage of the finished stuff. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. There are shelves in her closet. It's definitely been on the chilly side, but just know that in a few short weeks, with the sunlight coming back, it's gonna warm up and we'll be able to get moving on all of our projects. As they were finishing up the drywall, texturing, and painting, they also delivered the wood for the tongue and groove ceiling. As well as all the stone for the fireplace around. The plumbers had gone through and put the threaded caps on all the clean outs before. That one might still have the balloon in it, which would make the tub not drain very well. Might be worth mentioning then. Yeah. Well, I had that discussion with... You had that discussion with Brian because I was standing yeah. with you guys. Yeah, because he was so talking about... Someone did it. Exactly that. Yeah, so mention it to him. Yeah. I still got a bit of heft. This is one of the corner pieces for uh, the fireplace around. These are the normal pieces. So we have all the materials gathered up and ready to go. Ready to finish putting all the finishing touches on Mike's mom's house. The last main large project for the house will be finishing the septic, which should be happening over the next few weeks. Beyond all that, I think the last few things that are left are going to be installing the cabinetry, flooring, lighting and plumbing fixtures, and trim. I really don't think there's a whole lot beyond that. Mike's mom is currently back in the Midwest working on sorting out what she's going to bring out here with her and getting things tied up back home. But I imagine in a few short weeks she'll be out here looking at furniture and starting to make her home her home.
So the guys are over there right now working on this tongue and groove ceiling. And I imagine it should be done fairly soon. I almost forgot they also have to finish the porch and the ceiling on the porch as well. I do believe this wood is going to be all natural and just kind of finished with a polyurethane. It's going to look so beautiful and bright in there. And as always, every time I'm over there, I find another question to ask about the radium floor heat. This time I'm looking at some sort of canister that neutralizes the water coming out of the boiler. If you know what that is all about, leave a comment below because I'm still not sure as well as some extra little valve bits that I've seen on the boiler system. Wow, that's gotten kind of crazy looking. So, you do have to replace this periodically, it looks like. That's kind of gnarly looking. I'm also seeing this valve up here by the guest bedroom up in the corner. What is that for? Might be a bleed valve. Okay. Fair got introduced to the system or that kind of thing. Because okay. that's the high spot in the manifold. There's another one down here. And that may be a fill. And you know those down here. They're just pop off valves. So if excessive pressure, I think, and or temperature shows up in the system, that'll pop off. And let it bleed instead of making your shit explode. Ah. Now they're on water heaters too. Um, the one at the Denver house just, it was a pipe down to kind of the bottom of the water heater. So if it did pop off, it would just dump on the floor and that's not desirable. Yeah. So I ended up drilling a hole in the floor and putting a piece of hose on it so it would dump into the crawl space that popped off. Okay. Because that was much more desirable than, hey, sorry about your floor. I know we don't have a whole lot going on at our place right now, but the weather has been really cold and a little bit snowy, so we haven't been able to get down there and work. We've tried a couple of times and we've got a few floor joists in place, but it's just so cold. So hopefully I'll have an update for you guys very soon on the arched cabin. We've got a few nice warm days coming up, although there's a bunch of car stuff that needs to happen too, so. It'll happen when it happens, and I'm not gonna stress myself about it. We may get some work done on it in the next month or so, and we may have to wait until it's a little bit warmer. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you who have taken time out of your day to spend with us. I hope that 2021 is the most amazing year ever for you. Now get out there and do the thing. I know you can. And Happy New Year.